the area enclosed by the curve y is equal to x squared and y is equal to zero, which is the x-axis, and the line x is equal to four is rotated about the x-axis through one revolution. Find the coordinates of the centre of gravity of the uniform solid formed. So let's just have a look. Um, we've got a GeoGebra app here, which you can look up later for the proof of the formulas. But I'll just sort of quickly flash to it now. OK, so you've got a lamina here. It's the centre of gravity of this lamina. So this is a bit small for you to actually read as it is. But if you go to the link, it will give you the proof of the formulas that are going to appear in the video. OK, if we draw a diagram, and this one I drew with GeoGebra, OK, so basically you're summing all of the all of these uh, re re rectangle stri strips between 0 and 4, infinitely small. You're summing all these, how far each point, the centre of gravity is away from the y-axis. So you're taking moments about that point. So the form formula for this, so y, the um, y coordinate of the centre of gravity will be 0 by uh, symmetry. And we have the x bar times the uh, volume of revolution, which is from uh, integral from a to b of pi y squared dx is equal to the volume of each uh, the sum of all the, the strips. So it's the integral from a to b of pi y squared times how far they each of the way x dx. Well, like I say, if you want interested in the proof of it, please look at the GeoGebra app and the link is in the notes of the video. OK, so we've got the function uh, y is equal to x squared. So x bar from 0 to 4 or pi, y squared. So it'll be x squared squared, which is x to the fourth dx, is equal to from 0 to 4 of what pi times x times y squared. So again, it's x squared squared, which is x to the fourth. We take the pi out of the integral sign. If we integrate x to the fourth, we get x to the five over five from 0 to 4. And that's equal to pi from 0 to 4 of x to the 5, x times x fourth. So we're going to, pi's will cancel out, so that's quite good. So we're going to have x bar is 4 to the 5 over 5 minus 0. Integrating this, we're going to get x to the 6 over 6 from 0 to 4. To write that out again. OK, so uh, working this out, we get uh, 1024 over 5 times x bar is equal to 4 to the 6 over 6 take away 0, which is uh, 2048 over 3 when you put that in your calculator. Use the fraction button on your calculator and that will give that x bar is 10 over 3 and therefore the centre of gravity is going to be 10 over 3, 0. Uh, this is 0 because of symmetry. But like I said, the proof of this formula is in this uh, app here. You can start here and it will do the uh, volume of rotation for you. Uh, it's a little bit small to get it all in. But if you go to the GeoGebra app itself, which is in the link of the video, you'll get the full proof where you can see here's the formula that I've sort of just used. OK, there's been a video to show you how to find the centre of gravity of a 3D mass bounded by a curve. I hope you've understood. And I thank you very much for watching.